And Jenny joins us now with a look at some moments people are talking about online. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, and it's an emotional moment between George Floyd's family and the Minneapolis police chief. To the Floyd family, um, being silent or not intervening, to me, you're complicit. Silence and inaction, you're complicit. You're complicit. If there were one solitary voice that would have intervened and act, that that's what I would have hoped for. Uh, unfortunately, that's what you would have expected from your officers, yes? Absolutely, and that did not occur. So to the Floyd family, I, I hope that that's my that's my response. When the police chief, every time I said that the Floyd family has a question for you. Took off his hat. He took his hat off. Yeah. So he wanted to make sure to be respectful. And I know that, that they are angry. I know you are angry. And I know you are hurting. And I know it's not enough. You cannot bring George Floyd back. But you heard what he said that each and every officer who did not speak up against what was happening is complicit. This is the police chief saying that. This is the police chief. So this was the first interaction between the family and the police department, and it was all over live television over the weekend. A Michigan sheriff shows full support for protesters by joining their march. You tell us what you need to do. That's Genesee County Sheriff Christopher Swanson, who walked shoulder to shoulder with demonstrators in Flint. He told the crowd that most police officers are in their communities for the right reasons and asked the marchers for their trust. And that's a powerful message because uh, the right, you know, they, they talk about the 99.9% .9 of officers doing everything right by the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see these uh, other officers that, that aren't, and that's what really is leading to all this. Yeah, we, we saw that unity here in San Diego as well. Jenny, thank you so much for that.